Long gone are the days when paper signs or brochures can be used in store. Tech savvy customers are now expecting more from their retail experience. It needs to be both engaging and informative. Consumers now want the best of the online world delivered in store. And one of the ways to do this is by using digital signage. But if you're a small business, how much do you need to know about technology to use one? Here to tell us more is Paul Wilson. Paul, thanks so much for your time. We do appreciate it. We hear a lot more about digital signs and LCDs. Has this trend really caught on recently? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the market in the last five years has changed a lot. Uh, the digital signage market in the US is... Today it's a conservatively $1 billion market. By 2016 they're expecting it to be a $16 billion market. So 27% growth year on year. Wow, so and we're used to seeing the more static signs, but are they developing and emerging and getting more sophisticated? Yeah, well the cost of hardware has halved in the last five years. So it's meant that it's far more accessible for retailers now to be able to access this technology. Um, and it's now obviously becoming touch as well. Touch is a key part of of the retail strategy. Yeah, absolutely. And you also have something called an easy assist toilet selector. Ah, the toilet selector. I can't selector. imagine what this is. Please, please oh, tell right. us. There's <laughs> one of our customers. So okay. uh, this is a, a project that we did in conjunction with GWA Bathrooms and Kitchens and with Bunnings. And it was all about allowing customers to go through a complex process um, and serve themselves or have someone else from Bunnings, who isn't a plumbing specialist, being able to um, help customers get through a process, which, when you're selecting a toilet, is actually quite complicated. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay, what about retailers being put off by the, the technology? Perhaps they assume it's expensive or expensive to maintain. Do you see that as a bit of a barrier? Yeah, it has been in the past, and that's mm -hmm. certainly something where we're trying to reinvent the industry using standard web technologies and an Android-based platform. All that means is that uh, in the past, it's been quite expensive to buy and maintain the technology. 80% of the total cost of maintaining digital signage is actually in the creation of the content, not the hardware. So it's, it's different to what most people think. And how are smartphones changing the market? Well, I think smartphones are becoming part of our daily lives. I think if I, uh, if I had to drop a, an item overboard, whether it be my keys, my wallet, uh, or my phone. I think, you know, if your phone wasn't backed up, all the information now is centred around your phone. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, um, I think the expectation is 80% of all people in Australia uh, this year will have access to a smartphone. So. And so how's that impacting the, the LCD displays and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, well, the way we see it, uh, this is the omni-channel customer. So it's the, it's the new customer. The omni-channel customer is someone that's researched online, they've looked up information about the store on their mobile on the way and the whole thing about the omni-channel customer is they spend between 15 and 30 percent more than existing customers so with our technology uh, you can the customer can walk into the store they can access the information mm. at the point of purchase which is of course where the decision is made and then they can share that information from that device to their phone or their email simply directly from that device because it's, it's connected to the web. Okay, and what about the industries that are embracing this kind of technology, some more than others I assume? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think anything where there's a complex path to purchase, mm -hmm. where you've got to pay staff um, you know, uh, to be able to help customers uh, through a, a complex purchasing decision, it's the ideal format for, for something like a self-help screen to be able to help that customer. So. Uh, you know, we're dealing with obviously uh, supermarkets, with, um, with uh, you mentioned before, with Bunnings, um, mm. and there's some big opportunities in the US as well. That's really where most of our attention is focused at the And moment. how does your company fit in with all of this? Just give us a brief outline. Sure. Well, we, um, we saw the trend, and obviously, retailers have had some yes. challenges in the last five years with online retail, and our whole focus was why can't we take what's happening um, online and deliver that to the bricks and mortar store for the retailer. So we've completely reinvented the way that digital signage happens and we're doing that by using web technology. Um, so that means the customer walks into the store, they've got current information, we can drag in social media feeds. Mm. It's better for the retailer because we mentioned before the omni-channel customer. Um, you know, they've been to the web, they've been to the mobile, same experience at the point of purchase. And for the marketer, 
rather than having different um, suppliers and different tools, they now have one tool to be able to change all digital marketing. So it's very powerful. And on the back of that, for the retailer and the marketer, we have big data, big data just being just-in-time information rather than retrospective about customer insights and what, what they've actually, what the customers have been looking at. Okay, and your company's called Blocks Global. Blocks Global, it is, okay, yes. Okay, wonderful. Paul, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks, Kate. Okay, we do have to take a quick break. That's all we have time for on Tech Report this week. Stay with us for more business news and analysis. I'm Kate Williams.